Uh-oh, friends. The Internal Revenue Service has just announced that many Americans will have to pay back the $1,400 third stimulus check money that they received last year. Friends, this is crazy breaking news. So please make sure to watch until the end of this video to find out if you'll be required to give back any stimulus money that you received throughout this crisis. Also, share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable stimulus news. If you're interested in entering this Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, where I'll be giving away three $75 Walmart gift cards, please be sure to listen for the keyword from this video. If you ask the American people today, what is most important to them? They're going to say two things. Number one, they're sick and tired of being ripped off by the pharmaceutical industry. They think that it's insane that in some cases we pay ten times more for the same drug as the people in other countries, while last year the pharmaceutical industry made $50 billion in profit, and right now has 1,500 paid lobbyists here in Washington to make sure we don't lower the cost of the prescription drugs. So to my mind, any serious reconciliation bill must include real Medicare negotiations with the pharmaceutical industry to lower the cost of prescription drugs. That's probably the issue most on people's minds. Maybe the issue second most on people's minds. All right, my friends. So some breaking news has just been released. As the Internal Revenue Service has time to review stimulus funds that have been sent over the past two years, they say it is likely that many Americans will have to pay back some of that money. Given the speed with which the IRS managed to get stimulus payments into Americans' bank accounts over the past two years, it should come as no surprise that many mistakes were made. It may have been as simple as a stimulus payment being sent to an individual who earned too much money. Whatever the issue, you might receive a notice from the IRS if you fall into one of the following categories. Each of the three stimulus checks carried a strict income threshold. Once that a person hits that threshold, their stimulus payment was phased out. Out of the millions of stimulus checks sent out in 2020 and 2021, it was found that the checks were distributed to people whose income exceeded eligibility. So if you earned too much money to qualify for a stimulus check last year, you may have to repay back some of that stimulus money. Also, if you lived in the U.S. for years, paid income taxes, but are not yet a citizen yourself, you may have been sent a check. And if so, it is also possible that the IRS will discover the mistake and request a refund. Many checks have been sent out. It is likely that a percentage of individuals received more than one payment for the same round. If you were eligible for stimulus funds, but received more than one check during the first, second, or third round, please note that the IRS may ask you to return those extra funds. But my friends, please also don't worry if you are unsure if you need to pay back the IRS. Because if the IRS spots a problem with a previous tax return, they will send a letter outlining the issue. And if they are wrong, you have a right to dispute the matter. So friends, here is some good news. In a time of record-breaking gas prices and hot and crazy inflation, there is a large number of Americans that will be receiving a big tax refund check. And that's thanks to new changes by the Biden administration. According to data from the Internal Revenue Service, the average tax refund is noticeably higher this year. Of the 53 million individual tax returns that the IRS processed through March 5, 2022, it issued refunds for almost 38 million. According to statistics released this week, that's over 5% more refunds issued compared to the same point last filing season. The average size of the refund this year is about $3,401. That's a 13.7% increase from the average $2,990 that was issued at the same point last year. Remember friends, it is important to note that these are early numbers. These early numbers may not predict where refund amounts end up. 
By early December 2021, the average refund was $2,815. The IRS is expecting more than 160 million individual tax returns this year. That means that the tax agency has processed around one-third of all returns that is expecting for the 2022 filing season. It is tricky to pin the results so far to one factor. Many economists have pointed to the child and dependent care credit, the child tax credit, and the earned income tax credit, all of which were more generous for 2021. My friends, the key word for this video is porcupine. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, where I'll be giving away three $75 Walmart gift cards, please click and like my videos. Comment below this keyword and additional keywords from any video of mine that you watch. And please do make sure that you're subscribed to my channel as well. Thank you so much, friends. The Child Independent Care Credit is a tax credit that was much more generous this year. Federal lawmakers enhanced the credit as one part of the March 2021 American Rescue Plan. And for one year only, the maximum payout for a household with a single child or eligible dependent increased to $4,000 from $1,050. Our lawmakers increased the income thresholds and percentages of care costs that are eligible for the credit payout. But friends, there's also still plenty of tax season left to go, meaning that the elevated refund trend might fade. Friends, that's the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are logging on and watching my videos daily. Please do me a big favor, friends, and share this video with your family and friends if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. Thank you very much and have a wonderful and blessed Wednesday.